Windows 101 Code Compliancy General Considerations When it comes to safety, glass is at the top of the list of potential risks, so nearly every building code will require certain windows and doors to have tempered glass, especially those next to doors, in bathrooms, close to the floor, or wherever it's more likely someone could come into accidental contact with sharp broken glass. The reason is simple. Regular annealed glass will form shards when it breaks, making it all too easy for someone to get cut. So in places where kids tend to run or people tend to slip and fall, tempered glass must be used because it won't shard. You might have seen a car window break before. Instead of breaking into sharp pieces, the glass just crumbles. That's why tempered glass is sometimes referred to as safety glass. It will still break, and because it's so strong, it's nothing anyone would want to fall through, but it will break apart in such a way to avoid deep cuts and lacerations. A qualified building inspector is a great resource to let you know exactly which scenarios require tempered glass. Another code that may vary slightly by market is the egress requirement. Egress basically means exit, and an egress window is designed to allow a person to exit a dwelling from the upper floor in the case of an emergency. Egress windows make sure the person has the room they need to get out. They also make it easier for firemen or rescue personnel to get into a home. The standard egress requirement is an open area of 5.7 square feet, but that comes with a minimum width and a minimum height for a sash when the window is open. The best thing to do is check your local building code to make sure every project has the right window size to meet any applicable egress code requirement. In certain markets, window glass also plays a big role in meeting energy efficiency requirements. Energy codes can be tricky because they may have a U-value requirement, a solar heat gain requirement, or a requirement for both performance standards. Energy codes are designed to add a higher degree of thermal efficiency to a home's outer blanket. The better the windows and doors perform, the less the home's air conditioner and furnace have to work, and the more energy we all have available. A lower U-value indicates the window or door does a better job of insulating, keeping temperature from flowing through the glass. A lower solar heat gain coefficient indicates the window or door's ability to block the sun's heat. In simple terms, a low emissivity glass, low E-glass, will reflect the sun's heat away from the home in the summer and the furnace's heat back into the home in the winter. Both of these values should be clearly visible on each product on a prominently placed label. Each area of the country could have different requirements or recommendations for thermal efficiency. In the north, for example, many people want the sun's heat to come through in the winter, so they don't want a low solar heat gain number. And they want the cold to stay out, so they may prefer a low insulating U-value. By contrast, a home in the heat of the Gulf Coast or southern Texas would probably have better energy efficiency with windows that do have a low solar heat gain number, windows that block more of the sun's heat from penetrating through the glass. Specific energy codes are intended to put logical requirements on the materials you put into a home. Because these can change dramatically from one area to the next, get to know your local requirements, as well as the thermal properties of the windows and doors you sell. It is common for a window to fail to meet code with a standard glass package, but that same window might become code compliant if you add a low E coating. A simple glass upgrade may prove to be more affordable than going to a completely different window series. Just keep in mind that many projects may be delayed or denied altogether because of some violation often simply because the homeowner, builder, or remodeling professional is unaware of a product's performance or that a requirement existed in the first place. Knowing your building inspectors and seeking their counsel concerning any question is always good advice. We've only touched on a few of the more common code requirements to illustrate how important they can be to your project's successful completion. Remember that codes change and inspectors move on, so do whatever you can to participate in continuing education and trusting relationships with professional partners who can help you navigate building requirements in your market.